Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with beauty empties for the first time in seven months. I don't know, like I said um, earlier this year that I would get better at doing it and I haven't. I don't know, I just, I mean, and part of it is the fact that now Wyatt is here. So for a while, my bandwidth for anything non-baby was kind of non-existent. Um, but I don't know, I... <laughs> I guess I just have no excuse, but I, I'm kind of sick of looking at this stuff and I'm finally at a point where I feel like I have a pretty solid variety of things and you can also tell the things that I swear by. Um, so I just figured I'd go ahead and get this done. So I feel, I feel like once I'm really like in a stride with Wyatt, then I will do this more regularly because I am tired of just like having it sit forever. But for right now, it is what it is. I haven't done one of these since January, so let's jump into what I've used up in seven months. This is all non-Bath & Body Works beauty products. So like beauty and health, I guess I would say. So let's jump in. Um, typically, I do things from like least exciting to most exciting. So for the most part, I'll kind of keep up with that today. So the first items that I used up are two large bottles and a travel bottle in BioTrue contact solution. This is my go-to brand for contact solution. I take them out every single night religiously and I do wear monthly contacts by the way. Um, so yeah, BioTrue is definitely where it's at. So I buy these big bottles at Costco. Um, I think that they're definitely worth it. I don't switch back and forth with my brands. And I finally landed on BioTrue a couple years ago when I was living in Denver and the air is really dry in Denver and I just needed something um, that would keep my contacts nice and wet. And BioTrue is definitely the brand for me in terms of that. So for that reason, I just continued to buy it because I know that they'll keep my contacts as moist as they need to be. Okay, so now, Again, that's two large bottles and a travel size bottle. Now let's get into my toothpaste. I used up six, just take my word for it. There's six of these, six tubes of toothpaste in Sensodyne. This is our brand of choice in this house um, because several years ago, my husband's dentist recommended it. And so I'm good with it. So we have a couple of advanced whitening. We have complete protection and pro enamel to me they're just really all the same i mean i know they're different a little bit in terms of like taste and texture but ultimately like whatever so since i is definitely what we use in this house i would recommend it so i don't feel like it like tastes as good as you know other brands that are more minty or whatever but i rarely have cavities um and so yeah i definitely would recommend that brand if um that's something that you're looking for Okay, so next I have one antiperspirant. purse I don't know how it happens that in seven months I've only used up one. I suppose I'm kind of at the end of another one right now, but like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I should have used up more. Okay, so this is Aluminum Free Secret in Real Coconut. I am cruelty free and I prefer aluminum free um, deodorant. So I will pick up these secret ones in all the scents that they have. I really like the coconut scent. It's my favorite scent that they do in this. So I would definitely recommend it and repurchase it. So I will say the difference to me, at least with aluminum free is that the deodorant is not as long lasting. However, it will definitely get you through the day. Like I'll say that, like it's enough to get you through the day. Um, but I feel like, um, you know, it's, I can tell a difference between using deodorant with aluminum in it because I feel like it just, whatever it does, it just lasts longer. Whereas, you know, like I said, this to me lasts a little bit shorter, but is still enough for what I need. Okay, so next I have a couple of face washes. My face wash is one of those items that I'm not cruelty free on and I use Clean and Clear. I'm not, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think it was a helicopter, like a military helicopter. So I live near Fort Leavenworth, by the way, like kind of near Leavenworth. Um, so it's decently common for us to have military helicopters kind of like flying around. So if you can hear that, that's what that is. Okay, so I used up a couple of face cleansers in Clean and Clear. This is the Morning Burst. My favorite is the yellow, this one. Um, it has... Uh, cleanses to brighten the appearance of your skin. It has caffeine, lemon, and papaya. The orange one is 
with vit uh, vitamin C and ginseng. And this one says vitamin C and BHA. So again, it's really basic. Overall, my skin is pretty low maintenance as long as I keep using Clean and Clear. That's always been the one that has worked the best for me. So like, that's it. So again, the yellow one, I feel like for some reason I can never find it in stores. I actually have to buy it online, like through Amazon, which I don't love, but it is what it is. Okay, so next I used up just one set of shampoo and conditioner. Again, it's like, where did my stuff go? Like I am, I am also at the end of another set of this for sure, but like, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so I used up a Garnier Fruity Set and Grow Strong. This is a fortifying shampoo and conditioner. It has niacinamide and apple extract. So I really like this. I love the smell of it and I feel like it leaves my hair nice and shiny. So I really like it. I have more of this in my closet where I keep just like a couple of items that I have multiples of and yeah, really like it. Oh, it looks good with my nails too. Anyway, so I love the smell of it. Um, it's cruelty free and yeah, I like the feeling that it leaves in my hair. Okay, so I do have a beauty empty item that I rarely ever have in my empties. This is a hairspray. It takes me forever to go through hairspray because I don't use it all the time. So this is from Paul Mitchell. This is, I use a lot of Paul Mitchell, at least relatively speaking. This is the Flexible Style Super Clean Spray with touchable hold and it's a finishing spray. So again, it takes me a really long time to use these up. I bet it took me, uh maybe like two or three years to use this up. And yeah, I thought it was good. I would definitely recommend Paul Mitchell in general. The next time that I used up is a finishing spray or a setting mist from Morphe. I think I only have one more of these left. I don't know, I'm kind of getting toward the end. So this is a continuous setting mist. I really like it that it's an aerosol. I mean, like, sorry about the environment with this, but I like the aerosol nature of the spray. I think it helps it spray evenly. It's not scented, at least in my opinion, it's not, but it does have a nice smell to it. And I do notice the difference between using a setting spray and not. So I would repurchase, but I don't purchase these very often. The next item that I am actually getting rid of, it's not totally used up, is the Yes to Tomatoes. This is the detoxifying overnight moisturizer. So this expired in October of last year. And yeah, it was just an overnight moisturizer. I thought it was fine, but clearly I didn't use up the whole thing. I don't know that you can really buy Yes2 products anymore. I hope that the entire brand is not a thing of the past because in general, I like the brand, but I feel like I can't ever buy them in store anymore. I used to get all my Yes2 stuff from Ulta, um, I mean, a couple years ago, but I don't know. Anyway, so I think I got it on clearance or something like that. Again, I didn't totally use it up because I felt like it did leave a little bit of a gray cast on my face that I didn't like. Um, but anyway, it was fine besides that. Okay, so the next time that I used up is a makeup item. This is from CoverGirl and Olay. It's a Simply Ageless Foundation. It has Hyaluronic Complex and Vitamin C, and it's a three-in-one. So I hardly ever use foundation so it took me a long time to use this up i'm more of a concealer person which is why in my beauty empties you'll see concealer more than foundation at least overall but i did enjoy the color and it felt really good i will say that so i would say the coverage was pretty medium um and yeah it was a really nice um product again i just am not really a foundation person i hardly ever wear it so that's why i only have one in seven months Okay, so speaking of face products, I also have this Morphe uh, filter concealer, filter effect concealer. This is in the color C8. Um, this is another product that I feel like I can hardly ever buy this color in store, so I frequently will have to buy it online from Ulta. Um, and yeah, I really like this. What I like about the Morphe concealer is I feel like it doesn't really budge. I mean, it's easy to take off at night, um, but during the day, I feel like it's pretty solid and not prone to like smearing. So again, I am really not into foundation. I don't, I haven't worn, I think I used up that foundation, geez, three or four months ago, and I haven't worn foundation since I really just wear concealer <laughs> every single day. Like I'm telling you, I have the, I'm, 34 years old and I still have the most basic makeup routine you could think of. So yeah, I just use concealer every single day and like 
that's fine. So I like this C8 in Morphe is where it's at for me. I'm nearly finished with another one. Speaking of makeup, I do have an eyeshadow palette that I purchased maybe back in 2020, I think sounds about right. This is from e.l.f. and it is Mad for Matte and this is Nude Mood. So yeah, that's all that it says. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 shades, so I used up three. I also have kind of like dabbled in other shades, so it's very much so a nude palette. Um, I found after using up the three shades that are totally gone that the others are either too light or too dark for my taste. And eyeshadow is another one of those things where I really don't get into it much. Like I can definitely appreciate the people who are like really into it and create cool looks with it. But again, eyeshadow is one of those things where once I decided that I was done with that palette, I don't have any other palettes. I don't have any single colors. I may wind up purchasing like a single color or two, or maybe like a trio or a quad, something really basic. But you know, just like with foundation, I haven't worn eyeshadow in probably like three months. I mean, it's been a really long time. I don't know. I just kind of got out of it a little bit. I don't know. I might get back into it again with just like some single shadows or something. So I don't know whatever i'm fine with it i have some more makeup so i also used up two um covergirl lash blast amplify primers i used up one covergirl lash blast volume mascara this is in brown and two covergirl clump crusher mascaras this is in very black or like the blackest black or whatever they call it so Covergirl is definitely my brand when it comes to mascaras. I especially love the green clump crusher and the primer does make a difference. I will say that. I feel like some things in the makeup world are totally gimmicky, but the Covergirl Lash Blast Primer is not one of them. I absolutely 100% notice a difference. So this is always my go-to. This is typically what you'll see me use up. I do have one kind of random mascara right now that my sister gave me that you'll see in like whenever I do my next empties video but in terms of everyday use this is definitely it for me all right i also used up a, a perfume rollerball this is victoria's secret bombshell this is the classic bombshell and i really love this fragrance it is um i would describe it as slightly floral but mostly perfumey a little bit sweet as well to me it is youthful without being juvenile and I really like it. So I worked at Victoria's Secret on this side for maybe like not quite a year. Um, and I came to really love Bombshell. Something that I felt like a lot of people didn't know from my time working at Victoria's Secret is that you can use coupons on beauty products. I feel like I had to say that to a lot of people who were shopping and they seem surprised by it. But at Victoria's Secret, you can use coupons on beauty. So if you have any beauty at Victoria's Secret that you have your eye on, definitely hang on to your coupons and ask the associate at your store what is their coupon policy because it may surprise you how liberal it is. So it does kind of differ store by store, but I think you'll find that it is um, much more, again, much more liberal than you imagined. So use your coupons on this, ask an associate about their coupon policy. Okay, so I used up a little tin of Hollywood fashion tape. This is very sticky double-sided tape that you can use fabric to skin or fabric to fabric. In my opinion, it works best fabric to fabric, but it just kind of like helps your clothes stay um, in place. For the most part, I use the I use this to make sure that the holes in between buttons on shirts don't gape open. It's really good for that in particular. Um, so yeah, every once in a while you'll see one of these in my empties. So Hollywood Secrets Fashion Tape, I definitely recommend it. I always have it stashed in my purse. All right, I also have some makeup remover. Uh, wipes. So I will pick these up just kind of randomly if I'm traveling. Um, and so I used or I picked up a little packet of Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. Neutrogena is not cruelty free. I will admit that. But I will say I love their makeup wipes. So if you're not cruelty free and if you for some reason um, want makeup remover wipes or that's what you always use, I would recommend Neutrogena. I think I picked these up when I was I'm pretty sure this is what I used up in the hospital when I was giving birth. 
pretty sure that's why I have this. But anyway, I would totally recommend them. They're so soft and they definitely get off all your makeup. I also used up um, Real Techniques. Again, I'm not sure exactly what the situation was for when I bought this because I normally have a makeup eraser towel, but this one was also nice. So I would repurchase it if I were in the market for makeup wipes again in the future. I also used up a sheet mask. This is something that I want to make sure that I'm using up more frequently. This is from the Creme Shop, the Cream Shop, I don't know, whatever. And this has coconut and chia in it. And I thought it was fine. So this was given to me a long time ago by a follower here on YouTube. Um, and I definitely appreciate the little gift box, but it is time for me, or I decided it was time for me to finally use up like the last item that I got from that person. So it was very fun. I'm glad to have used it, but I do need to get more consistent about using up um, sheet masks. All right, and the last bits that I have for this makeup empties for the last seven months are a variety of lip balms. So I have two from Bliss Text. They are in fruit smoothies. One is melon medley. So essentially it's like a honeydew kind of cantaloupe flavor. And this was in berry explosion. So kind of like a triple berry flavor. So these are little, but they're perfect size for traveling. I am definitely a lip balm person. I hate the feeling of dry lips. So these are always um, something that you'll see in my empties. So I love these. I also used up a couple that I bought in Vegas. Uh, I mean, that was end of September. So in the end of September of last year, I went to Vegas with my mom. And one of the days we went to um, some outlet shops and there was a Forever 21 at the outlet store. So I picked up a couple of lip balms just for fun. So I picked up this one. It's pretty like <laughs> janky now, but it's supposed to be a Skittle. So the flavor was like the strawberry Skittle. And I mean, it's, it's a forever 21 trinket. So, <laughs> so it was definitely synthetic. Um, it's a little bit of an awkward shape. Like it was fun to use up, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the flavor was definitely synthetic and it was hard to like fit in my toiletries or like my kind of whatever bag that I have in my purse. So, I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it, but for 250 or five bucks or whatever, then it was what it is. It was fun enough. Okay, and the other one that I picked up that day was an Oreo <laughs> lip balm, also from Forever 21. This was like a birthday cake Oreo or something. Um, and again, same kind of thing. It, the flavor was very synthetic, but it was just fun. But it was just like kind of an odd shape to keep in my purse. So, I mean, whatever. It's fun to use up, but I felt a little bit goofy using it too. So, that is it for... My beauty empties for the last seven months. Again, it's a mix of kind of boring stuff, but also um, just fun kind of knick-knacky whatever kind of stuff. So um, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Lifting and Lipstick. I will put that down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!